Morning everybody, Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms. Had a pretty good little hunt this morning. I kind of got, went in from a different direction. I fooled with this turkey a time or two. It was actually, I believe, two of them. Hadn't fooled with them a lot, but went in from a different direction. And uh, got pretty close to them and actually got, had the hens roosted up. I was kind of between them. And of course, like they always do, they flew down and kind of went the other way, the way I've hunted them, come in and hunted them before. But they gobbled pretty decent. I don't think I got any gobbling on them. They wasn't just hammering, but pretty good. And uh, I moved on them a time or two and just wasn't real fired up. So I just kind of eased on out of there and didn't push on them too hard. I kind of like where they're at because Ain't nobody gonna bother on anything. If I don't get them, that's fine this year. If I make it the next year, they'll be just that bigger, much bigger, and have longer spurs. So, anyway, I'm on my way to pick up the 570 Ranger. Had to put uh, U joints in it. I ain't sure why they was wore out there. Of course, it's got quite a many hours on it, but he said it was a tough job. And, I just thought it was going to be an axle or something. I wasn't real sure, and I didn't clean the thing up like I usually do, and I, I apologize to him for that, because he had to end up... Pete, hey, get out of whatever you want. Oh. He ended up having to take the floor pan out and all kind of stuff to to get to it. And so I, I don't like carrying them over nasty like that, but I thought if he's just going to have to stick an axle in it real quick, it wouldn't be no big deal. But. Anyway, so anyway, he's got it ready, and I'm on to run pick it up. I usually keep it there at the house in Alabama. And I've been keeping the 1000 down with the spray rig in it down there. I usually spray with the 570, and I, I might throw it, throw the spray rig on it, and uh, pretty much finish spraying the fields and all in Alabama, I might have to start spraying some Roundup around before long, fence lines. I did a little bit. had just a little bit of that chemical left yesterday and sprayed around a few places. Uh, that chemical don't 
it does pretty good, but uh, if there's any clover and stuff there, it won't kill it. Of course, that's what we've been trying to do. But anyway, I may end up putting the spray rig back in the 570 and get the uh, 1000 back down to uh, over Mississippi. That's where I like to keep it. Because I'm about ready to start fooling with the hogs again. Haven't, haven't seen just a lot of sign over uh, through turkey season. I had no, basically no rooting in the field, which is super, super. The hog trapping's gonna be hard now. I mean, we're, we're gonna have to, to get what's there and let some more move in. We're gonna have to get pretty serious with it. I got a picture of three on one of my covert cameras one night here a while back. And uh, a couple of the traps, the hog traps, the solar panel really keeps the battery pretty good and I got a picture of one around the panel trap. Oh, it's been a few days. I hadn't really been keeping up with that uh, like I was. I get so serious with this turkey hunt. Right? Y'all know that. But we have knocked a dent in them, which is super, super. So maybe, you know, if I, if I get to where I'm having problems catching them on on us or you know we've worked on them pretty hard i might talk to some other people about helping them trap i don't know i kind of enjoy doing it and i know it's doing some good so and since we got the traps i i want to be using them so that's kind of my plan i figure summertime might get pretty tough because they're gonna get kind of lazy they some stuff around to eat you know i don't know we'll just have to see i had never trapped them in the summertime so but I bet you when they move, it'll be late and you'll be wanting to be in the bed. So, you may have to, they start coming through, you know, midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning or something. May just have to set the alarm, get up and catch them and go back to sleep. Well, uh, we're going to get back to hammering on them things for them. About time to get on track, I got a few things to do, but just got to get through turkey season. I'm really wanting to make another trip, but a lot of these states and all still closed. Uh, for this virus, if they start kind of opening back up, we're just gonna keep an eye on it and see how that goes. All right, got the 570 unloaded. I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna carry the 1000 with the spray rig back to Mississippi. Oh, you better get in this truck. Come on, load up, Pete. Pete, come here. Come on, come on, let's go. Carry the uh, spray rig back over there, and time to kind of spot, start spot spraying over there. I may do a little bit today. I don't know. I'm gonna watch this wind, and I gotta see how soon it's gonna rain. This chemical needs to stay on there for a pretty good little while before it rains a few hours. So we'll uh, get over here and see. And uh, then we'll about be through with the spraying project. I hope I missed as much as I did here and we won't have to do much. We did a good job here. Did my feet. Where you, where'd you come from? Jump all the way up here. Alright y'all got the ranger dropped off. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story here. Oh, we've been hunting down here in this area of Mississippi since about somewhere around 91, 92. And this little river that comes through here, it gets pretty nasty, but out of all them years, I have never seen it in this field but a handful of times right here. That's a farm field. All that is a farm field. And I bet since the winter of 19 and this spring of 20, it's probably been out there, I wouldn't be scared to say 15, 20 times. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It looks like a big old lake, and that's deep too, because this road's up pretty high right here. Just unbelievable flooding we have had down here this year. And we're supposed to get a lot more 
big rainstorm tomorrow, I think. It's just unreal at the water. And it's only been a handful of times that I've seen it over this main road here, and it's still over it right now. And when this rain comes tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow, I don't know what it's going to do. I'm sure all this water is going to play a big effect on the turkey nest, and I hope it I hope the second time they lay or something, they got up out of this water. It's still flowing over the road right up here. I'll show y'all here in just a second, but that's just a... I don't know if that field will ever dry up. I know they were spraying it or something the other day, getting ready to plant. They done fixed this road one time, and washed again the road where they go out in this field right there you used to drive off there right now your whole truck be underwater more rain to come y'all it started to rain all er already early had to put my dog food up front with me hadn't been just a real exciting day but got a few things done gonna call it a day appreciate y'all watching out of here